How's it going YouTube? Navy Sooner here. Today, it's all about spaghetti, pizza, and chicken scallopini. Let's get into it. Hey, where's my scallopini? This is the Beretta 92X RDO. It is the latest development of the 92 series and well, really the 90 series altogether, I guess you could say. Um, changes were made to the M9 when the army was trying to figure out what they wanted to do as a new pistol. And some of those changes were moved over to the 92 series because I mean, Basically the same gun, basically. And the M9A3 and the M9A4, some of the changes that were made for that were put into the 92X series and well, the RDO series if you're talking about the M9A4. The first thing that we're gonna discuss is the optics plate and being able to put optics onto the 92X RDO. The plates, when you get them, are not in the box. You have to contact Beretta and they will send you a plate that goes with it. Uh, which is kind of annoying, but I kind of understand. It helps them save money instead of having to throw all the plates in there. Um, the different types that they offer are the Lupul, the different types that they offer are the Lupul Delta uh, point, and then they have the Trigicon RMR, which that's what this one is because it's a hollow sun. Then they have uh, one that's Doctor Vortex and Burris, as well as an Acro plate, and what's the last one? Oh, like Seymour, Seymour, something like that. Uh, if you want to get a second plate or the one that you had you lost and it breaks, it's $30 from Beretta. You can go to their website and they have the plates there. One of the uh, bad things about this is the height of the optic on like the gun itself. Uh, it is really high. About my my CZP 10 F comes to about here when I line up the sights or when I line up the barrels. So this is a very high optic on a gun, especially a pistol. They have some aftermarket plates that are a little bit thinner. And I believe that like the Landon tactical option for doing a red dot is going to be a little bit shorter. Same with the Wilson combat, but they are a different, they're, they're milled out a different way to be able to accept a red dot plate now I do complain about it being like a high sight but the thing is I can get training I have the hollow Sun that has the big circle with the chevron I forget what that optic is the uh, I forget what that reticle is called but I do have that and I would be able to put it on here if I really wanted to and just training is what will get you to knowing where your sight picture is and whatnot so really it comes down to training but that optic is very high on this gun one of the good things about the optic being so high is like when you're going to rack your slide you uh, will not have any issues missing the safety because you well most people hit from the front uh, but you can just come over top and you will not have the issue that a lot of people have with Berettas in the safety model uh, with the non G just decocking. Uh, but I mean, I didn't have that issue with Berettas in the past. So that's just a certain population of people that really have that issue. The big thing that changed from the 92X series from the 92FS as well as the M9 uh, series to the M9A3 and A4 is there's not a big hump here. It's just straight before Beretta had a hump here and for me when I shot it which I shot it in the Navy and it just um, it didn't fit right in my hand but now that the way that that hump is gone it v fits very well it helps for me to be able to reach my magazine release a lot easier uh, as well as the other controls on the gun 
In the box with the 92X, they do have grips that have that hump there. So if you are someone that likes that hump, has bigger hands, you can go for it. But like me with my small dick beaters, it actually, this feels really good in my hand. A thing that they changed that moved from the M9, the M9 already had like an accessories rail, but the 92FS did not have an accessory rail. So the 92X now having the accessory rail, that is really nice because you can put a light on it. I chose to run the TLR1 because of the, I chose to use the TLR1 because of the holster that I was using for this. I'll talk about holsters later on, but that's uh, really nice that the, you can put a light on your 92. Something new for the 92 as well and for the M9 is the front sight post is driftable. It's got a dovetail on it and it can be drifted out so you can change out your front sight post along with your back sight post. So that's a really nice addition for the 92X. Now I've had this handgun for going on six months now and I've put about 750-800 rounds through it. Um, and I mean, it looks good. The finish is nice uh, and it shot great. I really like the way that it shot. Uh, the reason that I like the way that it shot is because it is very smooth. Even with the hammer down, pressing back on it, it feels very smooth. Even when you have a round in the magazine, you're loading the chamber for the first time. It's very, very smooth. I need to train on the double action trigger, but it's very smooth. Like the double action is just, it's smooth and consistent all the way through. Same poundage, it's heavy, but it's consistent all the way through. That's one of the things I like about it. And the, the uh, single action pull is like minimal to none. There's a little bit of take up, you get to the wall. It's very crisp and it goes really, really nice. It just, it, this gun shoots so nice. Uh, I really like this gun. It's also very accurate. Uh, I shot the Zev. I did a review of the Zev before, the OZ9, and this is more accurate. This is uh, probably the most accurate pistol I've had. And a lot of people will be like, ah, that's just a regular old 92. Well, it's still a it's pretty damn accurate gun. I don't know what else to tell you. So, yeah. Uh, a really cool thing about the barrel, uh, talking about accuracy, is the crown is recessed into the barrel. So that's really nice if you were to drop this handgun. Another thing that I like, I discussed earlier, was the grip on this fits my hand very, very well and nice. So, I, I mean, I it just fits very well in my hand. And I think that contributes to me thinking it feeling smooth and shooting so well. Now, what's keeping me from switching to the Beretta 92X RDO? Uh, there's a couple of things, actually. There's three things, uh, maybe four, but there, there are two that are like really big things that are keeping me from switching to it. I am just so used to a regular striker fired trigger. Uh, the single action, the first first pull uh, I'm really slow with and I know that's training and I know that I can get things to make the trigger lighter but I really don't want to have to do that uh, yeah I just uh, I don't want for like a duty style pistol I don't want to have to do too many modifications to it I mean like I said it's really consistent and it's the same way every time but it's just heavy for me. And I can do training if I want to, to get past it. It's just, I still think that someone, I mean, there's gonna be a slight, slight advantage to someone running a striker fired pistol over a hammer fired pistol that first is double action. Now, the other reason that I do not want to uh, switch over to the uh, 92X RDO, which I really like, is the fact, I mean, I like the gun, not this part of it, but the only real, like, duty option for having a light and a red dot on the 92X RDO is this, the Blackhawk Omnivore. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a nice holster, but the problem is 
like I can get my finger in there and pull the trigger. Um, yeah, you can get past that with the safety on this, but I mean, if you're scuffling, that safety can get knocked off and the trigger could get pulled very, very, very easily. Um, and that's one of the downsides to the Blackhawk Omno 4 as a like duty style. But like when I'm practicing or when I am testing out guns, this is great for having a extra thing of retention. I wish that I wish that the I wish that Safari Land would come out with something. G Code has holsters for like the M9A3, which I'm fairly certain would work with this but like the problem is is the lights that it gives you the options to use uh they're old ass like steiner uh laser lights and shit like that so i mean yeah um and then finally this thing is heavy uh yeah it's I mean it's a metal framed gun so it's gonna be heavy and so using it uh, on your side is like a duty hold or, so using it on your side as like a duty pistol um, you're gonna have issues with that you're gonna be lugging around that pistol all day long heavier than most striker fired well actually all striker fired I think I mean there might be some striker fired ones out there that are heavier but I mean this is pretty dang heavy um, and that's one of the reasons that I'm not going to move over to the 92x RDO even though I really like it and I really want to um, I mean, I can get past the heaviness, but the lack of duty holsters and the single or the single action, double action trigger just uh, gets me. Uh, yes, I understand. I can go get a trigger or I'm a Papa Uniform 55 Yankee, but I don't give a shit what you think. That's just how I feel. And if you don't like it, whatever. Oh, and if you want to cry about me, like pointing this around and like pointing at myself, I don't fucking care. It's fucking empty. Well, we've come to that part of the video where I say I have a Patreon and there's nothing there and no one really goes there anyways and no one donates to me so there's no reason for me to do that and people still talk trash about that don't care it's just a way for you to be able to donate to me if you want to see my channel going i have been indisposed at them like lately because i'm going through a doctorate program and it's a very very tough program and my time is limited and precious um also if you don't want to go over to patreon and do like a uh, like a subscription style donation thing uh, you can get me over at PayPal my PayPal account is Navy sooner channel at gmail.com uh, if you put that in to be able to send to me if you want to donate I'm not saying you have to and I know that everything is going down with the economy these days and no one really sends me much anyways but if you find it in the kindness of your heart it's greatly appreciated if you do send anything. Well, that's it. Navy Sooner out. I'm not even holding it away from you.